Hey guys, Ajax here, back with another episode of Yoko Watch Jam Y Academy. Last time we saved Emma from a gorilla that thought her hair was bananas, and we unlocked the actual last Amazing 7 mystery. So I'm so hyped for this one, and then, um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. Because when, last time we solved the sets of mysteries, we got Garomi and Brutapon, so what could be next? Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, maybe you got an assumption, maybe you don't. We're gonna find out today. So anyway, I changed it back to the regular clothes, because, you know, we're getting close to the end game, because, uh, I'm gonna say it right now, we've never been closer to the end game than we are right now. Like, in the next five or four episodes, this gameplay is finished. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna make our way to the location of the final mystery. Oh, it's around this area right here, it's not popping up, but we're about to, uh, do it. So, hope you guys are excited, I know I am. Let's get right into this one. Man, I'm so hyped, because, like, I'm gonna be real with you. On the third episode, where I did upload to Cami, I'm like, I'm probably not gonna get through this, but seeing all the love and attention it got, I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely can go through with it now. So, anyway, here it is, this guy right here. Let us speak to him. Alright, so, <clears throat> this mystery is actually an interesting one. In the anime, it takes place, it's place in a new semester like after they get back from summer so basically there's been reports of tiny gray aliens stealing magazines and other you know important books from people and in the anime one of these so-called tiny gray aliens actually stole qb's you know prized possession book of like enra pictures or something like that so yeah basically we're gonna be chasing after tiny gray aliens And there is one right there. Wow, there he is. There's one right there, conveniently. And now we gotta chase after him. So, man, I'm hyped to get into this one. Hope you guys are ready. I know I am. But anyway, before we chase him up those stairs, uh, let me make sure. Uh, do I want to use Wild Boy today? I've been using Wild Boy like every episode. Heck, let's use Wild Boy. Anyway, let's chase after this guy. And he's actually right there. It's not one of those missions where you meet him at the location. We actually have to chase after him. On foot. And wow, he's dusting us. He is dusting us. Hi. Anyway. Oh, Chris. Oh, man, he's gone. He's gone. See, you know how you almost catch him, but then just like, nope, you can't. Oh, man. And maybe stopping to say hello to that person did not help at all. But anyway, he stops here nonetheless. All right, man. Time to get back to the books you stole. You don't have a library card. Dang. Bro's gone. Oh, crap. There's six? Yo. Imagine waking up to like six of those around your bed. That would... Holy crap. And Matro's fanboying about Jinpei being all righteous or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, basically these aliens have stole some books from us. Now we got to get them back. And if I'm not mistaken, they even stole one from the principal, like another one of his magazines. <laughs> anyway, we actually have to go up the volcano again. So let's do that. Once more up the volcano. So... Oh man, we're this is the final Amazing Seven mystery, and we will finally like. Whoo man, I'm so hyped! I cannot wait for you guys to see what happens next, cause I know what happens next, but you don't. Anyway, we can skip through most of these enemies. Just go up to the wherever the green flag is. Dang, do I have to loop around there? <laughs> it's been a while since I played this lava level. Give me a break. Anyway, um, just follow the map. Oh crap, I thought we can get by those guys and they didn't even want to fight, but I I was wrong. So to get up there, I need to be able to jump as Jinpei, but since he's in battle mode right now, all he'll do is flip. Uh, oh no, he's up here. Dope, never mind. So I'm just trying to uh, ignore the objective and just get it going. Whew, okay, we made it. To the second area. 
Okay, just in case, let's get transformed. Let's get wild on these boys. Everyone else is transformed. Time for us to get up to speed real quick. Wild boy, man. I never get sick of, sick of seeing him. Oh man, but anyway, enough messing around. Let us make our way over there. Looks like we might have to fight, so. I was trying to stall, but it looks like we might actually have to fight these guys. Oh, don't forget, I put two Twilight Barrages on my boy. So you know we're ready for battle. Dang, should've just put all four of his slots. <laughs> Imagine if I just put all four Wild Boy slots as Twilight Barrage. Twilight Barrage! Twilight Barrage! Just keep spamming that crap. Anyway, I like how he just says, okay. And then proceeds to blast the dude's head off, but he's like, okay. You know, let's make our way through. Gotta actually jump on these platforms. If you fall in there, it won't game over you, but it will... I don't know. Actually, let me just show you. If you fall off, here's what happens. Yeah, that happens. You just spawn back up here, so... There. Wild back. Twilight Barrage. Bust a move. Twilight Barrage. Alright, anyway... The green flag is all the way up there. Let's make our way over. Whoa, okay. I didn't jump on that one. I could have fell in there. But anyway, let's do it. Got this robot dinosaur fellow. He looks pretty cool. All right, forgive me if I don't know most of the names for these bosses. I know it's a little too late in the gameplay to be apologizing for that, but most of these bosses I don't remember by name. I remember by design for the most part. Come on, just waiting for Twilight Barrage. I, I biffed that one. I totally biffed it. I missed it. He's, he's after me. Let me zoom the camera out. There we go. Wild act. Bouncing disc. I still never got confirmation if that was even called bouncing disc. I've just been rolling with it. Well, I know for sure all the characters' names, all their transformations, so that's one thing I can say. All the main characters, at least. Twilight Barrage. Twilight Barrage. I'm just going to say Twilight Barrage a lot this episode, so be prepared for that. Whoa. Okay. Wild Act. How is he sending tornadoes? I have no idea. Who else is there? Oh, crap. Time Accelerator, Time Accelerator. Speed us up real quick. Uh. Okay, those two are not even transformed. I wonder, did I ever give Chiaki that, uh, the same dance move skill that I gave everybody else to where when they attack, his, uh, transformation bar goes up? If I didn't, I need to do that. I'm pretty sure I did, but in case I didn't, I'll double check after this. Okay, just flip that dude over. Dang it, they are not transformed. Well, Chiaki is, I just can't use Hyper Beat. I'll just stick to Wild Boy and... Twilight Barrage, Wild Act, Twilight to Barrage. Wow, that, that did, a, that did, like, a lot of health. Dark Boomerang. Let me see. Aw, oh, dang, if you would have had Hyper Beat ready, that would have been an excellent combo. Come on, come on, come on. One of the Twilight Barrages is almost done. There we go, let's do it. Whew. Okay, uh, another Twilight Barrage. Woo! Got him! And, wow. Let's grab all his loot. Is that the end of the mystery? Okay, okay, I thought they were gonna hit me with a... Nope, here you go, here's another one. Woof, okay. Nine minutes in. Not bad, not too bad, not too bad. Wild Boy has been doing his job this in, like, dang. I've been using Wild Boy a lot this gameplay. Like, this is the gameplay... This is my third gameplay of the game, and this is the most I've ever used Wild Boy ever. No joke. Because <laughs> the other times I was really using Benny Maru a lot. Ha! Ah, so stupid aliens. Well, they look more like robots. Probably because they are. Yeah, I think they're not really aliens, obviously. Because if you didn't hear all those robo footsteps, I'm pretty sure you could tell it's a robot. And the principal just runs, gets his magazine, and just dashes out of here. Dude, dash to the top of the mountain. Because if you really think about how, how high this mountain is, and how low, uh, 
how low to the dang because you know he's in the tower he needs to take the elevator down run over here get up here fight those enemies and make his way up here that's crazy but uh, we'll leave him to his own Right, I'm not too sure what's going on here. I vaguely remember this episode. It, it didn't stand out in my head too much as the other ones did. But basically, nonetheless, we can see something shifty is going on. Why are there alien robots? And why, why are they not real aliens? Oh, but if you don't remember those two, those are the twins from uh, the Powie episode. Or power suit episode. And boom, we get the seventh Amazing Seven mystery. Boom, we have finished the Amazing Seven. We beat the Amazing Seven, we did the Twilight Seven, and we did the Seven School Mysteries. So, boom, ba baby, we did it. We did it. Give me some water real quick. That's good. That's good H2O. I don't know what Fubuki would be upset about. Is she upset that they didn't call her back for power suit testing? <laughs> Yo, imagine. Anyway, we've done it. We've solved the Amazing 7. What will happen next now that we've done that? Hope you guys are ready to find out. Oh, and here he is with his dirty magazine again. Oh my gosh, he's ready to get. Yo, and his daughter walks in. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's awkward. <laughs> that is so awkward. Yo. We did it. The, this is the YSP Club. So we got Fubuki, Matsuro, Koma, Jinpei, Ranto, Chiaki, Kyubi, and Mera. This is the this is the YSP club. We've gotten so big since we started. But we did what had to be done. We did it, guys. So that's three sets of seven mysteries. That's crazy. That's 21 mysteries in all. Yeah, that's 21. I, I did the math in my head to double up, but that's 21 school mysteries in all. This is one heck of a school. But of course, there is a third Y circle, and we must go there and insert these medals in, like we've done the last two. And hopefully, we'll get another buddy, or maybe we won't. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know what's coming next, but we are edging super close to the end game. So, whoo, man! And this is Y Circle 1, because the other ones was Y Circle 3 and 2. Oh yeah, Bru okay, Brupon was in the second Y Circle. So basically he's like, ooh, maybe we'll get another... Jinpei's like, maybe I'll get another buddy out here, because you know, all of them have gone to Jinpei. Jinpei has three forms while everyone else is limited to one. But yeah, man, I'm so doped. I mean, no, I'm not doped. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Man, I'm hyped, man. That last mystery, it was kind of okay. Like, it didn't really, like, it didn't feel like a last mystery. It felt like one we could have done is, like, the third or second one, but it doesn't matter. Let's make our way to the third Y circle. Let's do this. We have one mission. Let's do it. You gotta commit. Uh-oh, who the heck is that? Yo, all this stuff is coming out at the final... Well, this is not the final episode. Towards the final episodes. Oh, man. Hope you guys are ready. It's Emma. 
But she isn't saying nothing. I think she might be upset that her dad was reading dirty magazines. Why is it blurring? Holy crap. I apologize for that. I do not know what the heck's going on with it. Yo, what the heck? And now it focuses. So, they really go over it more in the anime, but this is Emma the Great. He's a spirit that's been residing in Emma's body forever since her birth. So, Emma, well, Anma, spelled E-N-M-A instead of E-M-M-A, so it's Anma. Uh, he actually was the one who told the uh, principal to build the school and all that. Like, you know, he's actually, right here, he's been residing in Emma, like, forever. And he's kind of, in a sense, protected her from certain things as well. Because, you know, their last name is Emma, so, I mean, well, the principal's name is Emma, so they're in the Enma bloodline. If you don't get it, Enma is a character in the normal Yokohai series. He is very powerful. He's like the Lord, he's, his name is Lord Enma. He's the ruler of all Yokai. Basically, since this is a, a another series, they kind of had to find a way to fit him in there. And uh, he's just as powerful as he was before. And don't think that he's been taking a backseat role. Yokai Watch fans know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then he is, uh, like, one of the, he's just all-powerful, basically. But I'm not too sure what he's saying right here. I think he's just talking to him, like, saying the plan has gone, like, better than what he thought. Another thing, if you don't know, if you remember that mysterious voice that was speaking to us, it was actually him. Yeah, that was actually him talking to us when we were inside the Y circles. Another thing, he was the one who actually put Garomi in the Y circle because she said someone mysterious told her to stay there. And I think he did the same for uh, Brupon, so. Yeah. But yeah, but basically he took possession of Emma. And I guess right now he needs a body to possess, and that's why she's not conscious over there. And yes, he mentioned that all three of the yokai in these uh, circles are all nekos, which is just Japanese for cat, so. But yes. And they just mentioned another one, Miketio. So, Miketio is actually, um, basically if Goromi, if Goromi, Bakera, and Brupon fuse, they make... Miketio, who is like the all-powerful, like, uh, cat yokai, like, out of the three. If I'm not mistaken, Miketio was once just one yokai, and then Enma split him into three, if I'm not mistaken. That's how it, that's what I remember, uh, it's saying. I could be wrong, though, but that's how I remember. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. But yes, save? Is that the end of the episode? No, no, it is not. I'll actually, well, actually, should I end it here? Um... I'm deciding. Eh, we'll go on a little longer. We'll go, we'll go on a little longer. You're welcome. Because I was about to just say, nope, we're done. But we'll go on a little longer. Here we are in the final chapter of the game. Hope you guys are ready. Get a little sneak peek of what you're going to see next episode. We're at only 18 minutes in. I can go on for a bit longer. Ooh, who's that? It's none. It's no. None other than Dober and Nayu. So they're just having their conversation. Cause you remember, uh, I think if you remember before, Mazero was kind of like, if Nayu, if you don't start stepping your game up, Dober's gonna come over here and handle it himself. And now Dober is here. Of course, he's a based off a Doberman dog. And he's an alien, and he's really freaking tall, by the way. Bro's tall. Dude's taller than the pyramid entrance. If you want me to sum it up, he's gonna handle us. He's gonna handle us Dober style. So I think he's going to basically attack us at the third Y-Circles, 
Yeah, that's what he's saying. Basically, he heard about the third wire circle. He knows what's up, and now we're gonna, we might have to deal with him. But I'm not gonna say. But now, see, once you see like Dover, you know you're towards the end game. Like we're really close to it. Like, like I said, in the next two or three episodes, or maybe four, we will be done with this. So, if I'm understanding, I think the third Y circle's in that pyramid. So when the time is right, man, Dober is going to give us a piece of his mind. And she's saying, wait up. He's like, what? Because that's exactly what they're saying. I think she was messing with him. He's like, bruh, leave me, leave me be. <laughs> but that's a, y'all remember Dover. If y'all remember Dover, he showed up uh, in, in another episode, like in the, I think it was in the, Twilight 7. And of course, Jinpei's late to school. But anyway, that was a little sneak peek of what y'all will be getting next episode. I'm actually going to save now. I'm sorry to do y'all like that, but I had to give y'all a tiny sneak peek to see what you're getting next episode. So next so next episode, we might be dealing with Dover. Most, I'm not going to say we're, we might be. We're going to be dealing with Dover because he's right. He's literally right there. That's kind of foreshadowing. But thank you guys so much for watching. Come like, subscribe. And we are so close to the final episode. I hope you guys are really hyped to see how it ends and how this all goes down. So thank you guys so much for watching. Come like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Echo Watch Jam. See ya.